I'm sorry, Bentley. You're one of my least favorite children so far, and I cannot wait to get rid of you. I'm gonna move him into a house in Del Cell Valley with no toilet. I don't care. Just get out of my household. Hello, and welcome back to the 100 Baby Challenge. Last episode, we had twins with Santa, and we named them Mistletoe and Christmas, or Missy and Chrissy for short. Bentley aged up and he's at school, and he hates children, so honestly, he's probably gonna want to stay at school for as long as possible. And then Hector also aged up, and I think he already looks like a little old man. In my build video on Sunday, I made them a new house to move into, but I totally overshot the budget, so we cannot move in there right now. But I still want them to live somewhere new, so I made another house that we're gonna move them into now. But first we're gonna gather everything we need, like the street gallery, the easel... Probably the kids are important, you know? Probably the trash can, because I think I actually forgot to put one in the new build. The bed for sure, because Shasha has upgraded that a couple times. This little void card that I think Hector found? I don't remember. One of them found it. Probably the tablet. Oh, and definitely the trash can. Can't forget everyone's school drawings. Oh, and definitely the decoration box too. Then the night lights. I don't know why I always forget small stuff like this. Okay, I think that's everything we absolutely need. Everything else we can either do without or I already bought a new one. So let's bulldoze. Oh, it won't let me exit while there's a baby in the inventory. I guess it just brings the babies with us when we move. I thought I'd have to carry them in my inventory, but I guess not. And then move household. I really need to do makeovers. Look at this ragtag group of individuals. So the new house is actually in Magnolia Promenade, which I don't think is meant to be a residential lot, but at the same time, it defaults to a residential lot. And it's in the same world as the hospital, which we visit all the time. And I almost never play here because it's so small. So I thought it could be fun. A nice in-between home while we wait for enough money to get a bigger one. Oh, and it looks like that brought Bentley home from school. I'm not sure why, it's the middle of the day, but okay. Yeah, and he still has a B. Was he supposed to get to an A today? He was pretty close. I'm not sure if that's a glitch or not, but I mean, it's the middle of the week. He can probably get an A tomorrow. That's annoying, Bentley. Why are you home? Whatever, it's fine. Let's do a quick little house tour. On a side note, I freaking love this steamboat. I wish we could visit it. It looks so cool. But there's also this jungle gym right next door, which is actually pretty nice for our kids. But yeah, house tour. It's a bit of a shotgun house style with this really long hallway. We enter in and have a dining table and a kitchen, which leads into this living room. And I really wanted to use this TV from the Modern Lux kit. It looks like a painting when you're not using it. How cool. Then we have two kids rooms instead of just the one. And they're a bit more lively and colorful, which I like. Two bathrooms, two toddler rooms, two infant rooms, and two newborn rooms. Wow, they got placed automatically in the right spot. I must have put down bassinets, but I forgot I did that. And of course, these are our Christmas twins, so they get some festive decorations. Shasha's room with an ensuite bathroom. And then this gorgeous backyard. First of all, look at the little flowers going through the yard. I did not do that. That's just part of the lot, but it looks great. And then we have this cute little outdoor setup where they can watch movies. I hope this doesn't break in the rain. It's definitely designed to be outside, so I'd be really disappointed if it did. And then plenty of skill building items for the kids. I think this house is really pretty. I'm excited to play in it. And let's go through and play some of our stuff. I guess we have these decorative plates that I forgot about. Oh, and a bunch of high school diplomas, but I think I'll actually keep those. I'll put this street gallery out front and the trash can in the kitchen because I totally forgot about it. Thermostat. Oh, we have an Enigma dresser. That's cool. Let's sell it. And then we can stick the trash can back there. I brought the monkey bars, but between all the stuff we have going on and the monkey bars right there, I don't think we need them. And then I use this bed as a placeholder. We're going to use the upgraded bed. Finally, the kids' paintings, the little void pet card, some extra easels out back just in case some older siblings decide to come help us. And then I'll go through and put these nightlights. Looking good. All right, with all that out of the way, let's actually press play. Oh no, Bentley is tense from nearby children. I wonder if I can get him an after school activity so he's less tense. Then Shasha is in a great mood. And her needs are stellar. So I'll have her come put Luca down and maybe do some tummy time. Rodney's doing fine. He just aged up last episode, so he's still a C student. So I'll have him do some homework in preparation and maybe even get out a school project. I'll get one out for Bentley too, because even if I put him in an after school activity, it's not going to start today. All right, now we press play for real. Let's see, Bentley's kind of dramatic. He's erratic and he hates children. So I might actually have him do drama club. And if we're lucky, it'll start this afternoon. Although it's unpaid, what if we could get like an actual job that makes money? Maybe lifeguard? Actually, I think we could get multiple jobs. Let's get video game streamer, which happens every night. Oh, that means he quit scouts, but I think that's okay. Oh my gosh, he can choose an avatar? That's adorable. I'm kind of liking the Grim Reaper, honestly. And then I think, and then I think we can get him more than one job as long as the hours don't conflict. So I'm going to try that. Oh, he has a work assignment. Sure, you can accept that. So he's an influencer at night, but maybe he can be a barista in the morning. Oh yeah, it's letting him have all of them. Oh, great. 
this is dangerous. We're going to be overworking our teen. Then I'm having Shasha feed Luca and doing some tummy time now. And then I forgot to add traits to the house. So in our last house, we have child play, good schools, and natural light. And I was kind of thinking about doing the same, except doing on a ley line instead of natural light, which will give us a higher chance for twins. I know that everyone says that twins are awful for the 100 baby challenge because then you have double the work. But I feel like I don't see very many people do these tricks with like the tiny home and stuff. And so I think we've been aging up our sims really fast. So I just want to try it. I want to try on ley line. Hopefully I don't regret that. And then while we're in build mode, there's a couple other things I wanted actually. There's a display case from Get to Work that I think I can put out so toddlers can just grab food. Although I don't really have room for it anywhere. I could just put it outside. I didn't really know about it when I built this house, so I didn't leave room. And then I also wanted to get a hamster. That could fit here instead of the easel. And then we just scoot the door over. I've been really wanting a pet for my sims, but the cats and dogs take up a space in the household. But I found out recently that the hamsters don't. I don't know. What are we going to name him? Chaos Incarnate? Oh, Chaos Incarnate's too long. How about Chaos Being? That's better. Oh, great. And Bentley's confident now. He's forgot all about hating children. Oh, no. He's just in a child-free zone. Never mind. Oh, and you know what else I forgot? I forgot to have computers anywhere. I don't really want to put them in the kids' rooms. I have desks in the kids' rooms, but I was kind of planning on using that for, like, homework, kind of like he's doing right now. So I may actually just put the computers in the dining room. Like that. That way, after Bentley's done with his project, he can livestream the game that he needs to. Ooh, spelling bee aid. It's the school spelling bee, and Hector has made it to the final round. But this time, he's never even heard of the word he's supposed to spell. Glancing around the room, Hector sees the class brainiac flash from her notebook with a word written neatly on it. Should he accept the help or give it his best guess? Ooh. You know, I'm going to have him accept the help. And hopefully she's not trying to trick us. Oh, she wasn't trying to trick us. He got a small performance gain. That's nice. And he should be getting home from school soon. And Luca got the sit-up milestone. Good job. One of the other reasons, by the way, that I wanted to move to a different world is I was getting really annoyed at not having winter in Tamaran. So we should get winter here, but now it's spring, so we'll just have to wait a while. Oh, yay! Hector's an A student! Great job! That means we can age him up, but man, he's in bad shape. I'll have him take care of his needs while I get someone older to manage the cake. Oh, dang, it didn't bring any of our food with us. Oh, well, it's fine. Oh, Bentley's tense now from his little brother. Oof. You know what, Bentley? The sooner that you make the cake, the sooner he'll be gone. I still wish that we could just order cakes, but unfortunately not. So against my better judgment, I didn't playtest the house before I started. So hopefully we don't have any issues. It just dequeued all of Hector's interaction, and I had to re- Oh, Luca just got the creep milestone. That's cool. I didn't know we needed that. Was he already up to date on his milestones? Oh, he has all his gross motor. Oh, my bad. He just needs social and fine motor. Well, Shasha, stop taking care of him and go take care of the Christmas twins. Anyway, as I was saying, it just dequeued all of the interactions that I set up for Hector. And I've re them now, but I'm a little worried about that. We'll see. All right, and Luca, you can go to bed because you're really tired. Oh, and he got his life milestone. Okay, seriously, all he needs now is fine motor. That's awesome. I think the twins are fine now. So I'll have Shasha come cook. She's hungry and we're out of food, so we really need her to make a lot of food. Oh, she's green. Why is she green? Oh, wait, no, I saw that on Reddit recently. It's because she's being like a great parent or something. That's cool. Bentley's fun is low, so I'm actually going to let him go live stream now. And Rodney's doing okay. Shasha made a salad. And it should stay good in the display case. I think it's refrigerated. All right, then one of the twins is crying again. I think it's this one. Find out what's wrong. Oh, and Bentley's angry because he can hear the kid. Oh, you're going to have a rough time. I'm still not fully sure what the find out what's wrong interaction does. I don't know if it's supposed to tell me or if Shasha's just supposed to take care of it autonomously. Well, she's changing her diaper, so I think that was what was wrong. Yeah, okay. Come cook some more, Shasha. Maybe even a gourmet meal. I should really have her change out of her hospital outfit, shouldn't I? There we go. She looks so pretty. I keep telling Hector to nap and he keeps waking up before he's actually had like any rest. I'm not sure what that's about. Like, see, he's doing it again. Oh, no, he's napping. Okay, I've got my eye on you. Oh, and Bentley and Shasha are kind of hanging out while they cook. That's cute. And then actually, he finished the cake. So come put birthday candles on it. Nice, and Rodney finished his volcano. Good job. I'll have him come play for a bit. Oh, actually, he needs to pee. I'll have him pee, then come play for a bit. Meanwhile, Hector's ready to be aged up. So I'll have him come blow out the candles. If we're lucky, he'll be able to go to high school tomorrow, but it might be too late already. All right, he's creative and jealous. Ooh. Okay, what aspiration do we want for him, though? I might just do the painter extraordinaire, honestly. It doesn't hurt to have more painters around. Hi, Hector. Welcome to teenagehood. Oh, and Maverick sent you a gift. That's cute. I think Luca will be ready to age up really soon, and so will the twins, so I might hold off on a makeover for a second. It's just easier to do everybody at once, you know? But he's in a really good mood, so I'm going to have him put some candles on the cake and put it back. 
And then maybe he can do a school project too. I know this one is meant for kids, but it's the only one that does painting skill. So I think he can do it. It just might not be as beneficial as some of the other ones. Oh, I like his jacket. Oh, and Bentley finished up. Great job. His needs are rough, so I'll have him take care of them now. Maybe he can stream some more for some fun. And then he needs to go to bed. Oh, then Christmas just woke up, so I might come check on her and see if she needs anything. And then I'll come feed Luca. I think Luca's gonna be upset, but it's okay. Then I wonder if we play with Luca, if that will help his fine motor skills? Because that's all he has left. Oh, we might also want to feed him, actually. Oh, now Mistletoe's awake, so let's come take care of her as well. Nice, Luca got the grab milestone. Just one more. He's pretty stinky, so I'll give him a bath, actually. And then the twins should age up today. Oh, we aged up Hector in time to go to school. That's great, but he didn't do his homework. What if we just do his homework now? And he's already a B student. That's crazy. He hasn't gone to school yet. Maybe he just did so well as a kid. I don't know. That's cool. All right, then we're going to pick him up and give him a bath. Oh, one of the kids is still upset. I think she needs her diaper changed. Yeah. Three, two, one, blast off. Fascinating chaos being appears to be conducting experiments on reaching escape velocity from its habitat. Excuse me, what are you doing? No, you're not allowed to escape. No one's even played with you yet. How rude. Also, we have so much trash that we can be selling now. Let me do that. That bath took so long. Go check on your other kids. Then Luca's tired, so go night-night. You can do some more toys in the morning. Gosh, if I'm not careful, we're going to have three infants at once. Rodent rave? There's music coming from Chaos Being's habitat? Oh my gosh, Chaos Being was an accurate descriptor. Oh my goodness, look at the little camper stuff at night. That's beautiful. <gasps> oh, I love it. I should have them have a booby night. Okay, after Shasha's done taking care of the kids, she needs to sleep. Her energy's getting pretty low. Oh, work for Bentley starts in an hour. I forgot. <laughs> I mean, he's doing fine. He just has to go to the bathroom. This is all part of my ploy to get you away from the kids. He's a little low on fun, but I don't think I can fix that before he has to go to work. But it's okay. I mean, he's doing fine. All right, go have fun at your barista job. And I'll keep cleaning up trash. Then I'm going to have Luca look and play with toys. I don't remember which one I need to do, actually. Oh, gosh, and Mistletoe's awake again. Oh, and Rodney woke up, but then came in here to use our shower. That's that's interesting. Do you want to play with a rodent while you wait for school to start? Oh, the rodent's sad. I'm sorry. All right, school for everybody starts in an hour, and it's the twins' birthdays. A lot of stuff is happening. Oh, come on. Hector didn't finish his homework? We'll come do that. Oh, he's too tense to do his homework? Oh, that's just rude. Okay, fine. Come watch TV or something. And then Shasha's awake, taking care of the twins. And Luca is just not getting that other milestone. All right, and everybody's off to school. Except Hector, who's watching TV. Go to school. Good job. Bye, guys. And then I'm going to have all of them study hard. Oh, gosh, it's just Shasha at home with all the kids. It's fine. This is fine. All right, Shasha's taking care of the twins and has to now go take care of herself. Oh, Luca's just in a bad mood. Come on, man. Can you just get your last milestone so we can age you up? Let's feed him. And then he's really tired, so let's give him a nap. Okay, well, everyone's asleep. Oh, just kidding. Christmas is awake, but she seems like she's in a good mood. So while everyone's in a good mood, let's have Shasha come eat, take a shower, and then cook some more. Ooh, winner, winner. Hector won a school prize. Should we give it to him in front of the class or quietly and privately? Uh, probably announce it publicly, but give it privately. I don't know. That seems right. Oh, now the twins are unhappy again. Sometimes it annoys me when she like interrupts her tasks to go take care of them. But I guess right now I'm glad I'm not going to have to like re everything. Oh, now it's raining. So we'll have the chance to see if this holds up in the rain. I hope it does. All right. The kids are all fine. So I'm going to have her go paint. Unfortunately in the rain, but you know what? It's okay. She's in a good mood. I think it'll take a lot to like make her in a bad mood from the rain. And the kids should be getting home from school very soon. There they are! Bentley's an A student, Rodney's a B student, and Hector is also a B student. Dang, I was really hoping Hector could become an A student, but we did send him in with, like, awful moodlets, so I guess that makes sense. Well, at the very least, we can age Bentley up. And then Hector really needs fun, so I wonder if I can actually have him come out here and watch something. It did break in the rain! Come on! It's literally meant to be outdoors. What was I supposed to do? Whatever, come repair it. Actually, let's not even repair it, because it's not going to make a difference until the rain's gone. Oh, I'm really annoyed about that. Whatever, Bentley, come blow out your candles. Hector, do something else for fun. Can you play video games? Sure. And then Rodney, you need a shower, and then maybe you can watch TV. Nice, Hector got the video game skill. Wonderful, Bentley aged up and we can get him out of our house. He is socially awkward, hates children, and erratic. As a teen, I gave him the criminal aspiration, and I still want him to have that aspiration, so I'm going to do it again. He graduated with honors. And honestly, I just want to move Bentley out. I cannot have him here hating kids every second, and I don't want to deal with his needs, so I'm just going to move him out. I'm sorry, Bentley. You're one of my least favorite children so far, and I cannot wait to get rid of you. Goodbye. I'm not even going to give him a significant other or a plot. I'm going to move him into a house in Del Sol Valley with no toilet. 
I'll be honest, I don't remember which one actually doesn't have any toilets in it. I think it's one of these two. You know what? I'll move them in with the Bailey Moon household. I don't care. Just get out of my household. Bye! <laughs> Am I being a jerk? Maybe. But I need room in my household and Bentley is unhappy. Then I'll have Shasha come put candles on this so no one else eats off of it and we'll put it away. Hector's playing video games. Rodney's watching TV. He's in a better mood now, but his fun is still low. I might actually have him come play on the jungle gym. I know it's raining, but whatever. Then how is everybody doing? Oh, one of the twins is awake and sad. And then Luca is still sleeping, actually. I'm gonna have him wake up and play with toys. He got the Babel milestone, which is great, but unnecessary. I really need you to get that toe and mouth milestone. Oh my gosh, at this rate, we're gonna have three infants at once. That's awful. Then I'm gonna have her feed the hamster a tree and paint some paintings. And now that it's done raining, Hector can come repair the thing outside. Dang, Luca is sad and dirty. I'm really afraid that he's gonna get like an unhappy infant trait. So at the very beginning of this challenge, I was trying to find rules online, and it was kind of hard to find an accepted rule set after growing together. So I kind of made my own with like the milestone system and the traits and all that, but I've been watching Will Simsy's 100 Baby Challenge stream, and hers is like just grades and milestone based, and isn't based on traits. So I'm kind of thinking about pivoting to that. Like this challenge is going to take forever, and I really don't think we can be giving ourselves opportunity for disqualification. <laughs> And I know that might seem like an easy way out and that I'm doing it for convenience, but if like one of the biggest Sims YouTubers out there is doing it this way, I feel like it's a pretty valid way for me to do it. So we'll see. I'm still trying to like take care of traits, but I don't think I'm going to disqualify any of the kids if they don't get it. Because my goodness, Luca is taking forever to get this last milestone. Oh well, I should check on the kids and make sure everyone does their homework. Oh wow, Rodney did his autonomously. I guess he can do extra credit work now. And Hector's actually feeling pretty bad all around, so I'm going to have him take care of his needs and then he can do his homework. I have never had an infant take this long to get the fine motor milestone. Is he glitched? Oh, he's very hungry. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Honestly, I think Luca's glitched. I'm gonna have Shasha come take care of him. But I genuinely think he should have gotten his milestones by now. Oh gosh, and now the infants are upset. Well, at least Luca's fed now. He can go to bed. I think Rodney woke up because he lost a tooth. And maybe because he has to use the bathroom. But he is still tired. He needs to sleep. I'm noticing that eating from this display case isn't filling their hunger up all the way, and I don't know if it's just because of the items I've decided to put in here or if it's something about the display case. Unsure. But all the kids are okay now. We can have Hector finish his homework. Oh, it's raining again! Also, shouldn't the twins have aged up? Oh! Oh, they just did. Oh, they are literally in the middle of it. Okay. Christmas aged up. She is calm. And Mistletoe aged up. She is cautious. Oh, that's kind of cute. Oh, and Mistletoe has red hair. It's probably the game doing that thing again. But you know what? It's fine. She can have red hair. That's very Christmassy. And I'm realizing we may not actually have enough bandwidth to take care of the hamster. But that's okay. Luca should have his next milestone. He really needs to get it because we have to put the twins somewhere. Oh, there it goes. There's the toy and mouth milestone. Oh, that was so annoying. Okay, let's go age him up. Hector, it's time for school. Oh, and Rodney, it's time for school too. Rodney should do really well. He did extra credit. And then I think Hector's pretty close to getting an A too. Bye. Study hard, both of you. And then Luca, our great problem child. It's time for you to blow out the candles. Oh my gosh, that spit is nasty. Oh my gosh, he got the happy infant trait. I just went on this whole spiel. Oh my goodness. Oh, and he's inquisitive. That's cute. And he has yellow hair. Look, that's his dad right there that has black hair. We have pink hair. He had white hair as a kid, and now he has yellow hair? What What genetics does Luca have? Whatever, I'm just so glad that he's finally aged up. Oh, and everyone sent him gifts. That's cute. Okay, refresh the candles, put the cake away, move on. <laughs> and then it's possible Rodney might be an A student when he comes home, although he's kind of far... He did his homework and extra credit, so I'm hopeful. And then Hector for sure is going to be an A student. So I think I'll wait till they get home to do a makeover and end the episode. So for now, let's get started on taking care of the twins. Let's pick up Mistletoe and put her down. And then we can pick up Christmas and put her down. Okay, this is the first time we're dealing with twins, so we got to be strategic here. Mistletoe is hungry, and so is Christmas, actually. So I'll have Shasha do super efficient infant care on the one with worse needs, and then she can come over and feed Mistletoe. Meanwhile, oh, Luca was able to get food autonomously. Oh, that's so handy. Okay, then I'll have him come out here and like play and work on his movement skill. And then while Shasha takes care of Mistletoe, we can have Christmas start to look at toys. Mm -hmm. We're going to be strategic about this. Oh, and Hector has a test day. 
has two different tests and one of them is going to be tough. There's a little time to study beforehand. Should he spend all his time studying for the harder test or use the time to study for both tests equally? Well, probably the harder test, right? Yeah. Okay, good. He got a performance gain. Sasha, did you feed Mistletoe before putting her back down? I don't think you did. Oh, and Christmas is sad because she's tired. Well, I think she's trying to go to bed, so that's fine. All right, Mistletoe's happy now, but she's tired, so let's put her to bed. And then this might actually be a good opportunity to have Luca learn potty while the twins are sleeping. Gosh, he takes so long to walk. Great, he acquired the potty skill and yes, got it to level two. Perfect. And he's sleepy, so you know what? You can come to bed. Ooh, Shasha needs to use the bathroom and sleep. I guess she's had a long day. Yes, Rodney's an A student. Hector's an A student. Yay, we get to age them both up. Ah, oh, so good. Oh, and they're clipping into each other. That is disturbing. I'll have Hector blow out the candles and then he can set it up for Rodney. Creative, jealous, and hot-headed. Ooh, I feel like he'd be a starving artist or something. I don't know. I don't know what story to tell with this combination of traits. We should have a lot of gifts in the mail, actually. And I totally forgot to check Bentley's inventory before we just exiled him. So hopefully he didn't have anything we wanted. All right, put the birthday candles back on for Rodney. And you can blow out the candles now. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Not smart enough. I've been trying to do homework for school, but the last few assignments have felt really hard. Maybe I'm not smart enough to do it. What do you think? Oh, poor kid. Okay, and then Rodney is adventurous and outgoing. Oh, that's cool. What should his aspiration be? I kind of want to do like the famous athlete. I thought that was an aspiration, actually, but now I can't find it. Um, I guess bodybuilder? That sounds fun. Oh, look at him. He's so handsome. Oh, how cute. We could move Hector out now, but Hector doesn't hate kids, so we don't need to. And we have room for the next kid, so I think I'll wait a little bit. And the last thing I want to do before we sign off is I want to give everyone a makeover. I keep telling myself that I won't put this off until like everybody needs a makeover because it's kind of overwhelming to do everyone at once. But clearly I have failed there. So I'm just going to go through, give everyone some cute outfits, and I'll be right back. All right, now time for the cast tour. I'll be honest, I kind of just focused on their main outfits and then did style looks for everything else. So here's Mistletoe. She aged up with red hair, so I gave her kind of a red scheme overall and tried to make it feel sort of Christmassy. Then her sister Christmas has green eyes and also green and red go together for Christmas. So her theme is green. And I gave them matching hairstyles, which I always hate on twins IRL, but I've decided to do it here because why not? Then I gave Lucas back his white hair because there's no reason his hair should have changed color when he aged up. And he actually aged up in this sweater. So I continued with the black and white theme. Next up is Rodney. And he looks cool as a cucumber in this high school years outfit. And then I thought Hector could use some swagger. And finally, we gave Shasha a new outfit too. I really like this jumpsuit from the Home Chef Hustle Stuff Pack. And I gave her some hair that was kind of pulled back because it was time for a new hairstyle. And with that, I think it's time to finish up. Thank you so much for watching. I had a lot of fun this episode, even if it was kind of chill. I love the new house and I can't wait to keep playing in it. As always, have a lovely day. Bye!